In this video, we're going to insert a simple JPEG image and mix it with some text to do a cut only. Now, in some of my other videos, I show you how to clean up some images in Photoshop, and uh, those are probably the best ways to do it, but sometimes if you get a really simple image, the basic editing tools built into Design Space will do uh, just a, a, an adequate job for what you need. So what we'll do first, we've already inserted some text here that says I love my dog and we'll go upload an image. We'll select a basic image and I'll go get this paw print and tell it that it's a simple image. Now here I can select my magic wand and get rid of this background. Now there are some settings here where you can set your number of colors and your color tolerance, which is the blend along the edges. Uh, but for most images, if they're good and clean, the basic settings are adequate here. Sometimes it doesn't work as well. Uh, if you use some of the photo editing tools like Photoshop or Inkscape or something like that, it will, you do have the ability to clean it up a lot more. Uh, I did work with an image the other day that had some shadowing along the edges that I couldn't see in this tool and it, and it just wouldn't clean up properly. Then when I pulled it into Photoshop, it was very visible and I was able to correct it. But for some time, some images you can, you can do this with, uh, right in the basic editing tools in Design Space. And now I'm going to continue to step three. I'm going to save the image. And now I'm going to insert the image into my canvas and position it. Now what happens, um, because I've inserted a JPEG by default, Design Space wants, as you can see to the icon, it wants to print this image and the letters it wants to actually do a uh, cut on. It. So if I were to hit go at this point, you'll see that it wants to do a print and cut on the paw print and it wants to do a cut on the letters the, alone. And the letters, since they are two different lines, are not positioned like I have them on the screen. So I'll show you how to correct that as well. So we'll cancel this. And then let's address the paw print first. If we select the paw print, over here you'll see an icon that says print image when you hover over it. If you click that, you'll notice that there are some other options, but they're grayed out. So I want to unflatten that image. And then when I click on the image, I can then select that I want to cut that image rather than printing it. And now you'll see that they are all set to cut. Now what happens if you leave it set to print and this is how we want to get everything positioned properly. If we select all and then right click and attach the objects together you'll see that it splits them apart. However, they're now all one object but it changed all the letters to print as well. We do not want that. So I'm going to click undo and instead I'm going to change this to cut and now if I do select all and attach they become separate objects but you see now they are all set to cut and if I click go you'll see that my complete image is now set up to cut only and I can position it wherever I need on my mat for my vinyl layout. Hope this video has been helpful. If you like it, click like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below.